my new series called My Strange Addiction. What do you mean that's already taken? Okay, fine, whatever. My unusual obsession. So, I think we all know about that ship that sank in 1912 on its maiden voyage. It was a titanic disaster. Too soon. Anyways, ever since I saw that movie as a little kid and it made me cry like a baby, I have been obsessed with the Titanic. And not just the movie, I mean like the entire ship. Like, I have books and stuff about it, I watch every documentary I can find about it, and I am obsessed with the Titanic. And on top of being obsessed with the Titanic, I'm obsessed with anything that's underwater. Any weird thing that's underwater. Like there's a pyramid at the bottom of the ocean and it like gives off a magnetic force that disrupts ships in the Bermuda Triangle and that's probably why ships crash in the Bermuda Triangle. I'm obsessed with ghost ships, aren't I? Yeah. I just, I like things that are underwater and I don't know why because I am terrified of deep water. Like, my three biggest fears are hippos, going into outer space, and deep water. And at the same time, I'm like, ooh, I want to go see the Titanic, but I'm like, no, I don't want to get on a ship anywhere near the Titanic. I don't want to go past 30 feet out the beach. I don't want to ever get on a ship that crosses the ocean and has the possibility of crashing. So you know on YouTube they have those videos that are like, amazing things found underwater. I always watch those. And I always get clickbaited by them and I hate it. But there are some really interesting things underwater, like part of Puerto Rico is underwater. And then I kind of have an idea that in the future, like half of the world's going to be underwater. That's probably global warming and it's probably not an original idea. <laughs> Anyway, so there's this pyramid underwater, and I'm just really confused. Really confused by it. Like, how? It, it looks like the Pyramid of Giza, and it's bigger than the Pyramid of Giza. And we just discovered it, like, a couple years ago. That's how scary the ocean is. Like, just think about it. We have not even explored half of the world's ocean. We know more about outer space that we know about our planet's ocean. That is terrifying. Like, we don't know that much about our ocean. We find new fish all the time. And that's freaky. That's just plain scary to think about. Like, there, we just found giant squids. Well, we didn't just find them. They're krakens. They are literally krakens. You know that thing in Pirates of the Caribbean that took down the entire ship? The Black Pearl? That was a giant squid. Technically. Not actually. And they're scary. They're horrible. And there's probably more of them. And there's all these things we don't know about at the bottom of the ocean. So about. So why the heck would anyone want to go down there and see them? Like, why? 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 <laughs> and why am I one of them? Why do I want to go see the Titanic when who knows what's down there at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean? Well, the Titanic's at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. And then I'm also obsessed with, like, pirates, and then, like, pirates are still a real thing. But maybe that's a discussion for another time. For this video, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, and those links are down below in the description. That was my rant about the ocean. Guess that's not really why I'm obsessed with it. But this is basically just a rant series, so who cares? Anyways, my name is Falilla, and I will see you all on the internet some other time. Bye!